A video clip, like a product demonstration, a software technique, or a process illustration, can be a great addition to your presentation. If that video is on YouTube, and you want to include it in a Zoom meeting, I'll show you how to do that in this video. Now, PowerPoint does have a built-in way to include YouTube videos on slides. I want to show you a different technique. By playing it from your browser, you have more control over what section of the video is played, and it allows you to include closed captioning as well. The first step is to review the video you found in YouTube. So get the URL for the video either from the address bar up here or from the share button here. So I'm just going to grab it from the address bar and go and put it into a new tab and paste it in there. Now why? Because you want the Dave video Perry, to start it's... playing from the start. You want to see if there are ads at the start and you want to watch it all the way through. You want to make sure if there are any ads in the middle. For example, if it's in the middle of your segment, you might have to choose a different video. You want to see if there are any pop-ups that come up at the top or bottom of the screen that YouTube allows creators to use. You want to make sure those are appropriate for the type of presentation that you're doing. So make sure that you're very clear about the appropriateness of everything that goes on in the video. And then what you want to do is you want to note what's the start time and the end time of the segment you want. Now I know the start time I want is about uh, three minutes and six seconds. So I'll set that up. And I know this is the, the place what I that I want to start. And I note the end time as well. Again, start and end time, not start and duration because the start and end time are what you see when you're actually playing it. So now that I've got this information, I can uh, decide how I want to use it in my slide. Now, note a shorter video clip is usually better. If you have a long video clip, more than maybe 30 seconds at most, people start to get bored and they go and click and start doing their email. So you've got the URL, start and the end time. Now we can move on to the next step. The next step is to set up the slide in PowerPoint. And what I've done here is I've started by putting in the URL, the start and the stop time in the speaker notes section. That's important because anybody who's looking at these slides afterwards needs to know what part of the video you actually showed during the presentation. And then use text on the slide to describe why this video is important for people to watch or pay attention to. I've used it up in the headline area here. You could use text somewhere else on the slide if that makes sense for the type of slide that you're creating. And then what I like to do is I like to do a screen capture of a section of the, the video put that in on my slide so that people know this is going to be a video, that's what we're going to watch. And what you'll also see is when I move my cursor over, you see it's linked. So I select the image after I've put it in there and on my insert ribbon, I go to insert and I go to link and then I paste in the URL. Now you're not gonna end up using this in your presentation to start the video, but it can be helpful for those people who are going through the slides afterwards. They move their cursor over and they realize, oh, there's a linked video here. I should go watch that and then they see the segment in the speaker note so they know what segment it is they're supposed to go and watch. Now we've got the slides set up in our presentation ready to go. The third step is to prepare the video prior to your presentation. So we paste the URL from our PowerPoint slide into a new browser tab. Once we've done that, we let the video play, so it plays the ads. Uh, we skip through the ads if we can, but we let the play uh, happen until we get to the start of the actual video. Then we pause it and we move the timer marker to the spot that we want. And we know it's three minutes and six seconds, so we move that to three minutes and six seconds. We've got that set up. We check the volume, make sure the volume is up on the video, make sure the volume is up on your system as well. And then one of the things I like to do is to use theater mode. So theater mode is this button here in YouTube. And what it does is it makes the video larger in the browser window and it moves those suggested videos that were on the right hand side down below. If you want to use closed captioning, one of the things you can do is to turn it on using this CC closed captioning button here. When you click on it, it tells you that these are auto generated for this particular video and it shows you the closed captioning right there. It also told you in that pop-up at the top that you could click on the gear here, the settings, to change some of the options. So the subtitles are closed captioning, it's using, using English, and 
when you click on the options here, it allows you to select the font, the colors, etc. The only one that I end up changing typically is the font size here. I find it's too small by default, so I usually set it to 150%, and that seems to make it much better. That's the only option that I change. So when you're done, you just click on settings. Now you don't have to use closed captioning to turn it off. You just simply click on that closed captioning button again, and it takes the uh, closed captioning words away. So we've got our video set up and ready to go for our presentation. So our final step is to play the video in our presentation. I am in Zoom. And because I've muted the Zoom microphone, that's why you see that uh, notice come up on my screen. But in PowerPoint, I've reached the slide where I want to play this video. So I introduce the slide, giving them, uh, the audience, the reason why it is I'm showing the slide, what they're going to learn. There's this really great tip I want to show you. It's called Control Drag. It allows you to duplicate objects or images very quickly in PowerPoint. So what I do in Zoom is I'm going to go up to the control bar and I'm going to say New Share. New Share allows me to select another window that I've got open. So I'm going to select the browser window and I'm going to check this box, Share Computer Sound. This is very important that you check this box because if you don't, then the video, the audio of that video does not play to the people who are on the Zoom meeting. So you have to make sure that that check box is checked and you select the browser and then you say Share. Now. I'm sharing this browser and I can go ahead and click on the play button to play this video clip for people. Need it to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this portion of the image. The way we do that, very quick tip here, going to save you a lot of time is hold the control key down and when your cursor moves, you notice that little plus sign that just showed up? So when I now drag, this is called duplicate. So control drag is duplicate. And so what you'll notice there, what I did was, is after I pressed the play button, I moved my cursor off of the timeline so it would go away. It would disappear and people could see the full video. When it was done, I simply clicked the pause button uh, in the player so that it stopped the video. Now, last thing I need to do is to switch back from the browser to my slides. So I go back up to my controls for Zoom. I say new share. I click back on my PowerPoint. And I can uncheck the computer sound if I don't need to have sound from PowerPoint. So I'll go ahead and undo that. Click share. And now I'm sharing my slides and I continue with the rest of my presentation. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.